This is Leela, a uh, 3D printable multi-sensor housing uh, designed to be used with ESP Home in Home Assistant that I've been working on for the last couple of months. Um, it's designed to be modular with, uh, over time, support for a variety of ESP boards and sensors. Uh, it's launching with support for two boards and two sensors initially. Uh, these are the Wemos uh, D1 Mini, uh, which is very popular and cheap. And the tiny uh, ESP32 C3 Super Mini. Um, Sensor-wise, uh, initially it's the HCSR501 PIR sensor and the BME280 uh, temperature, pressure uh, and humidity sensor. Pressure not being particularly useful, but hey-ho. The version that you see here will be freely available on principles.com and my website. Um, it comes with uh, a simple flat base that lets you sit it on a tabletop or shelf. Um, I'll also be selling a tiltable base and wall mount uh, that has been the bane of my life for the last two weeks. I've designed this in a way that you don't need any mounting hardware like screws to install the ESP boards or the sensors. Uh, so to demonstrate the Wemos fits into its little carrier mount by just clipping in the C3 Super Mini, which is a little bit tighter. It's difficult to do when you're trying to film at the same time. Right, there we go. Clips in. And if, if you want to get these out, there's a little ejection tool that fits in the back. You can just press. He says, out. And then the sensors, again, just clip in, and the temperature sensor, again, just clips in. There are optional screws here that you can actually put into secure it as well, but um, they're not really needed. The ESP boards and sensors connect together using female to female DuPont cables. Um, the only slight niggle uh, is that because you have two sensors uh, that both have a ground cable uh, and the ESP board only has one ground pin, um, you need to combine the two neutral cables, ground cables, uh, into one connection. So I just strip back the shielding from one cable uh, and then wrap the um, terminal of the other around it uh, and then protect it with um, a piece of heat shrink. So it's very easy. To assemble, uh, you basically take your um, ESP in its mouse, clip it into the rear chassis, um, you then need to connect your cables, um, which this is a uh, this is just a cable I've wired up myself. So let's see, if I have to remember how to do this. So first off, um, there is a passage uh, through this centre, what I call baffle. Um, this centre baffle basically makes sure that the heat from the ESP Wemos in this top half. Um, doesn't affect the uh, temperature reading um, that the, the sensor takes down here. So they're in two, two entirely separate uh, areas. The, the temperature sensor also sits in this little chamber uh, as well. It has its own, own airflow. Uh, right, so let's connect this up. Uh, you can then pull the cables through a little bit on the bottom and then it basically just slides together like so. There's then the 
base, which slots in like this. And then there's a locking pin that just slides through the back to secure. And that pin can be ejected um, by putting a paper clip or something through here and push it, and it pushes out the pin. Finally, I'll quickly show you the tilting uh, stand and wall mount. These basically um, have a, a ball joint at the bottom that is flexible. Um, that's it tilt in different directions and they simply slide in to the bottom like the um, standard mount. Again, locking position with the pin. Uh, that's the tabletop one. Um, the wall mount has a slightly longer mount so it can rotate all the way to be flat against the wall. Again, slots on, secures with a pin. Any thoughts or comments? Uh, I'll be happy to hear. Thanks.